Up next on American Ghost Hunters. Willard W. W. What are you feeling off of him? You think that uh, he lived here, he died he's here? He's angry. He's, he's Bill. Yeah, what? there's a lot of red, red around him. Does he remember yeah. us? Yeah, he's the one that's from upstairs. Okay. He, he's down here and he doesn't like us here. He doesn't want us here. Mm. He's the one that didn't want me to go in the room. Mm. And I, I said, oh, I don't feel good to go. You know, the last show, yeah. I didn't feel good about going in that room. Mm. It holds a lot of memories. That mirror holds a lot of memories. What Straight mirror? ahead. This mirror in the door? The mirror I, holds I, a lot of the memories. The glass, the doorway glass? Yes. Um, earlier I saw a shadow in there. And it's almost like I'm looking into the past in there. And I see children walking in front of it. And I see a man, and I see a very sad woman. And I feel abuse, and I feel um, um, like sexual things, and, and I'm angry. And, and I'm feeling my emotions. She, she wants to, yeah, family. I just, I need, I need to hold. Why you, why you he tried to take over me. Because I, uh, I need to go. Go outside. Go. Let's go over here. Watch. I need to go. No, 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 no. The stairs are over there, Tan. The stairs are over here, Tan. Be careful. Take her out. I'm going to stay up here. Feeling? He's staring. Where is he, upstairs? Yeah. It's where the raccoons go. You staring at us? How come you're not here in my face, big tough guy? You know what? Whatever happened to uh, the shadow of darkness and, and, and taking people on there, you know, finding lost children. You don't keep them, you find them and you help them. You're not with God. This was blessed, holy water. This is blessed by somebody who is God-fearing, somebody who does believe, someone who believes in God. Throw it all around. I don't think he's going to like this. What do you think of that, Mr. Preacher? Mr. Pseudo Preacher, you're not a preacher. You say you are, but you're not. You're a liar, you know it. I'm Michael Angle, a private investigator by day and a paranormal investigator by night. Not long ago, I teamed up with Peter Canellis a veteran ghost hunter and master dowser to put together a team of paranormal investigators to help people with problems that they could not explain. Americans have always helped people in need and American ghost hunters continue the tradition of helping others. We work with well-known mediums and help families get on with their lives. The evidence we collect will speak for itself and they do speak. <laughs> Turn right on. Can you do that first? Try to find the There it goes. This is what you asked for. Yes. Oh, like I'm in there. Dale, can you turn it off This investigation brings us back to the Taylor House in Lyons, New York. This house is one of the most active locations that we have ever investigated. The last time that we were at the Taylor House, we had Tammy Clark with us, a well-known psychic and medium. And she felt that there were several spirits in the home, some of them being held by an entity that she believed was a preacher and abuser who was a negative force. We discussed going back to help free the spirits and try to cross them over. We wanted to have a team of mediums, so we went back to the Taylor House and brought in Tammy Clark, a psychic medium soul healer, Nicole Berardi-Wright, a young psychic medium with extraordinary abilities, 
and Cindy K. Thompson, a psychic medium to put together a team to help save the lost souls of the Taylor House. Okay. All right. First of all, let me see. Let me see that homemade one. That was crazy. Did you see this one? <laughs> we just found that here. We found this here, and it was actually shaking in my hand. That thing crazy. Let's see if it does that again. It was laying under the table. I had dropped a screw. It's coming over here. It's not shaking now like it was. I mean, these things were shaking. That's pretty funny. That's pretty awesome, actually. Remember when the first time I did this, they were shaking. Mm -hmm. So you guys are feeling a bill? Are you feeling the John? I felt the, the, the W, a strong W in the area over there. Should I call him Ralph? Is that the problem? Ralph, oh, not the Ralph. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> whenever, I, whenever I name someone, I just call him Ralph. Willard. What's that? William Willard W. W. What are you feeling off of him? You think that uh, he lived here, he died he's here? He's angry. He's, he's Bill. Yeah, what? there's a lot of red, red around him. Does he remember yeah. us? Yeah, he's the one that's from upstairs. Okay. He's down here and he doesn't like us here. He doesn't want us here. He's the one that didn't want me to go in the room. Mm, and I, I said, that. oh, I don't feel good to go on. You know, the last show, yeah. I didn't feel good about going in that room. Mm. How about you? How do you feel about that? Um, I feel like he had negative energy and it was just like, don't, don't go down there. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that, but it's like he... He's angry about something. Yeah, I, I, it's it's making me feel like I don't want to go there anyway. You know, he's scary to me. He's just, he's not a good... Wait, he, he is, he does think that he's worse than he actually is. Yeah, he thinks he's big and bad. Yeah. See, we're not afraid of him, so that's the guy we're, yeah. that's the guy we're gonna go after, right? Mike? Uh, yeah, precisely. Precisely. Yeah, okay. um, upstairs, I definitely feel the guy just walking around i could hear him he was literally following me at my footsteps like i couldn't shake him but on the third floor i felt the priest guy and i felt the little kids dormitory style like i didn't understand why he's with them up on the third floor it doesn't make sense to me um and the cupola area I definitely felt like punishment area. Like I felt like I was being, I was in trouble and I had to stay there and I was really scared. And um, down here, I feel a lot of kids, just different types. I have a girl who's younger, but teenage, 13 to 16, I dare say. I had her the last, the last show. What we say if she was 14? Uh, yeah, 15? It was somewhere. And, and that's yeah. where I got a picture on. Yeah, she's that's the picture. And, um, breaking into the womanhood thing. And, <clears throat> you know, she get stuck in. She didn't get a chance to be a woman, is what I felt. Is she the blonde? Blue yes. Purple? Very pretty, pretty girl. And there was something tragic. Yes, around. something tragic. Like abusive, I, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. I, I literally yeah. like around she, her ending, definitely. She wow. screamed blood curdling screams. It mm. scared the hell out of me. Like I was with Jesse back there and I was like, okay, I need to get out of here right now. Like it was just too much. She's listening right now to us. But it's like hearing all this it like brings back the Yes, pain. it's hurting her. Mm -hmm. It's it's she wants to I don't know why she's so like connected to Nicole and I, it's like, we remind her of someone, and she's so connected, and I feel her almost like right here, and, and I, I wanna safe. I want to say something around her ending, but I feel like that might bring a lot of the pain for her, and yes. she just needs to move on. Yes. We all agree that they need to move on. Yes, we're definitely going to pass. When you say pain and then you think somebody you killed her. You can't make them cross her, over. Killed her. We, we all know this. Yeah. Um, yes. Not, I, I don't know. Like, it was um, like abusive type thing. Like the abusive, it's like the abuse led to her ending. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do the rods, man. We'll see. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I pre did it. It took me upstairs. Let's see what they do again. Yep. <laughs> that was
emails quick. They want us to go upstairs. That's kind of what you were saying, Tammy, right? Should we go upstairs? Yeah. You guys come? Yes. Energy right here, Mike. It's the crossing. Right here is where we got it too. This is right where we got that picture of the girl coming through here. Okay, this right. is this is it's cold right here. The last time we were at the Taylor House, we captured this image with a hunting camera. The three of us were upstairs when this photo was taken. Too, I feel a coldness. Something I didn't understand. I keep seeing the woman go over. I keep seeing her being thrown over the staircase. She just said yes when you said that. Over here? Yep. That's yes. where they're taking me to the staircase. Because remember I told you that I kept seeing it, but the staircase isn't on the right side? I think I have the wrong perspective. I kept thinking that I was standing in that doorway looking in, but it's not. It's this way that I'm looking and I can see. Okay. And that's how we got the picture, was the camera was over there and it went this way, but she had them standing behind that wall because we got a reflection of her in the glass. Because Yeah, the reflection bounced off that glass and we got the silhouette of the girl right in this doorway. For sure. That mirror holds a lot of memories. That mirror holds a lot of memories. What Straight mirror? ahead. This mirror in the door? The I mirror s- holds I a lot of The glass, memories. the doorway glass? Yes. Um, earlier I saw a shadow in there, like a figure. And it's almost like I'm looking into the past in there. And I see children walking in front of it. And I see a man, and I see a very sad woman. And I feel abuse, and I feel um, um, like sexual things and and I'm angry. Do you think the man's here that did the sexual abuse that was negative? Yeah. I, I feel like he was lost in his whole self. He wants wants to be stronger and more powerful, but he also has um, a connection to his spiritual side. And I feel like that has to do with the I see him. He's looking at me right now. Do you feel like he's a preacher? Yes. I see him in the, in the, in the glass. I'm going to move my cam down, Mike, so I can get he's, some pictures. He's got a long face. He's got a long face and he's tall. And he's not very big. He's thin. He's got a long face. Do you see him? It's almost like he's look. I, I keep seeing, like, I, I want to go back to the 1900s, early 1900s. I see um, a man in black that was and gone. It, yeah, like a suit, right? Kind of, yeah. Careful, but, Tam. Like, Please come through the door. No, you're right. I'm just trying to snap some I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> Spirit just told me, well, they showed me, um, like, a summertime, like, vision. I can't so, get into summer. If they also, it's okay. They also say um, that some that it's not all negative here. Like there were some very happy memories. It's just like mm-hmm. like the negative kind of tends to overpower mm-hmm. the feeling, mm-hmm. even though that there was good here. Did and they like, live here? Did they? Was it like a boarding house or something? Were, good things were done here. Yeah, there were there were good memories <clears> here, but it's like. Um, I feel some people coming and going, but some stayed for a couple of years. And- so, like, this was a Lions Community Center. I don't know if you know that. They used the annex building for that. The Boy Scouts were here. The Girl Scouts were here. They were very proud of the. They had awards up on the walls upstairs. They were very proud of it. When they ripped everything down, all that stuff went too. And then there's also a, a carriage house in the back that they had stuff uh, written up on the walls of, of who was here and, and kids' names and that type of thing. <clears throat> so, as a community center, probably there's a lot of good here done. You know what I mean? But at, before that, probably even before that annex was built, because you can tell the annex was built way after, this was the 1800s, this building, that annex yeah. probably came 50, 60 years later. Mm-hmm. You know, so this, we think, was a boarding house at one time. We found an Evelyn here, who was an older woman, mm-hmm. who used to cheat on her husband, and then they had the big argument. That's what Pete caught. He had a 42-minute long EVP of them having an argument with each other, you know, of screaming, you know. And she's also the one who called yeah. Pete and his brother names. Yeah, she, she called us names until we started laughing. She was like, you're assholes. I'm like, yeah, we are. And she was like, all right, I like you. <laughs> you know? But that's Evelyn. And Evelyn's always very strong here. First time we came, we found nine spirits. 
The next time he came back, it was a bunch of kids. Mm. You know, most of the nine spirits were like adults, and some of them were coming and going. Well, I feel like a lot of the energy is tied to the land too. Like mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. like buildings that used to be here, or yeah. like when it was like. Um, it was a church. I fell outside. This is Church mm -hmm. Street. And it was, uh, John Cole was the first preacher in the area in the late 1700s, you know, so he built the first church and he had a lot of children. He was married, you know, so, uh, there's, there's something to that. And that's who we, we, yeah, this is, this, this whole land thing goes back to the 1800s, the old energy here. I want to go back to 1823. Is somebody wearing lemon perfume? I have uh, Grappellant on. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I smell lemon stuff. Some Chanella? Yeah. Well, um, I feel like. That it could go back even more than that, but that's just mm -hmm. the time that you're you're picking up on. You, you, are you getting the whole the whole um, Indian? Uh, yes. The whole the whole Indian um, in the water. I keep seeing water and fire. I, feel I keep seeing fire and in this, water. In this direction, no, I don't mm -hmm. feel like. Yeah, right. So it's a, it's a, yeah. it's like removed to one street, but it's it feels like this. This is not just energy related to this 1952 building. Mm -hmm. It goes back. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, because there was a, a church here built first, first and foremost back in the late, uh, it was a log cabin church, as a matter of fact. Yeah. And then the guy had to deal with the Indians because the Native Americans were around here. You know, so I mean, it, 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 think about it, he built the first church, it must have been pretty, he was actually from England. So he was English. And then, uh, he came here and he did his thing, so. I, I just did not get good things when you were saying his name. John Cole? Yeah, I'm literally getting okay, physically I'm sick to myself. We feel like he was an abuser. We feel like he was the one who initially abused the girl and then probably her, she was connected to him somehow and he's the one keeping the kids here. We actually have a male. I, I feel like he is saying do not use my boy, my name. Do mm. not. John Cole, John Cole, John Cole, John Cole. How's <laughs> <laughs> that? Do oh, you like that one? Yeah, no. He hey, John, you know what a shepherd means? We're going to get into it. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, he's, he's impressing himself. You what? He's getting really close to me. You need to back off. Uh, I gotta step out just for a second. I have a smoke. Yeah, are you okay? Yeah, I'm Is your, is your thing on? Go ahead, guys, keep going. Because if my asthma falls in your car, That's okay. I just might find. Okay. I don't know if this is going to happen. And it's kind of what they do when they don't like you, right? They, they, they go after what you don't like, what your, your fear is. They tap on your fear. If you're sick, if you get nauseous, you know, that type of thing is kind of what they do to affect you. Luckily, I don't have any fear. There's not really, anyway. No, not really what happened to him. He was just begging for help. Begging. How old is he? Like, a little younger than me. Like, around 14. Who is he? I feel like his name is James or something. James. Ask him if he knows Cahill. I feel like it was a, around that time, but maybe a little after. Mm. Why was he begging for help? Be I think it's more like, like, this is him being here is a constant reminder of everything that happened to him, and it's it's not a good existence. Like, um, like, like it, it was more towards like the last year of his life that all this happened, but it was really bad. It was like. Um, it's just how his facial expression and like he didn't say anything, but um, it was like how he like looked. Um, and he's tall and thin. Did he live here? Um, I feel over here. It, was there neglect? Like, was he not fed? Or he was I, don't, I don't know. It was like um, he came here like in the last couple years of his life. Like he, he was... So didn't he die in this building? Around here. In the area. Yeah. Yeah. What constitutes Like that? I don't even want to look back. Like I just want to get to the dance so we can... Help Is that him. sad? Yeah. Hmm. The look on his face? How did he die? Um, I, uh, 
I feel um, him hiding behind something and just being so scared. And um, you don't see how what manner of death. Um, something. It, it. You keep touching your head. Um, yeah. It. It was not. A, it. It was bad. And I feel like it was. In, it was a man that did it. Hmm. Not the same guy that's here, though. Um, I just feel like, I don't, I don't know if it's like after him or just towards the end of his life mm. that he did this. Like, I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay. I just feel like Spirit keeps saying like towards the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or later. You okay, Sam? Mm-hmm. All right. She's better. All right. Just okay. feeling a, a young boy, a teenage okay. boy. Do you want me to go Things didn't work out too well for him. Yeah, teenage boy. But he wants help. He's begging for help. He's begging for help. Okay. Do you want to see where we go from here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew what they're going to take us right upstairs. That's where I keep on going. Yeah. Okay. You can turn your lights on walking up the stairs and yeah, I don't want anybody getting hurt. There's a lot of energy right here though, Mike. Right. But it wants to go to the next room. That's his room. That's the room he didn't want us to go into to begin with. She doesn't want to go in there. <laughs> Well, I just heard something over there. Yeah, we've been hearing noises. Well, actually, it's better to go around like there's a, there's a closet in here, so. All right, okay. Yeah, guys, be careful of the floor and everything. Go ahead. You have a flashlight to hold? I did in the car. We got a ton of them hanging around, so. Okay. I mean, like. Are there a stuff there? No, no, it's just the floor. Okay. The hallway's okay. I forgot mine in the car. You gotta be careful with this light gaps. The floor is sturdy, though, right? Yeah, it's sturdy. Oh. Just, just watch the cracks are right here. Okay. I mean, I don't think you could do anything. Okay, I'm blind that I call you. No, no, the floors are solid. This is, um, yeah, this is where we get right in this room. What was that? Did you just do that? I didn't do it. What was that? I don't know. You didn't do that? There was a noise right here. Somebody yeah. threw something at me. Somebody, somebody threw something right here. Screw block. Yeah. There's, um, a piece, there's a piece of wood right here. No, it was metal sounding. Right? Yeah, it was metal. Right, I heard it right here. It's right in here Someone somewhere. Someone like went patink. It sounded like uh, somebody threw a nail or something right, right. here. Right. I heard it land. And nobody was over here, nothing. Yeah, because she's way down there. Right. That was crazy. You hear a lot of noise up there. They don't like us up there. I don't really feel a spot. Don't tell me. She's getting something. Go ahead. Um, I'm not feeling like a, a definite spirit. It's like um, like I feel oppressive energy. It's like it's like looking down almost like to downstairs. You're right. It's like um. I don't know, like there, like energy around, like the walls, but not here. Mm. Like, like it's just there's energy here, but it's more residual. But it's like I feel something, uh, like circling, kind of like going around. Mm -hmm. This was the guy's room, and remember, he he yeah. was like, "Don't come into my room," mm -hmm. you know. And we respected that. We went around. We did go around. But now we're in his room, yeah. so. Uh, I guess that blows that away. <laughs> Didn't you get the guy in here last time? Are you getting the same thing? Or? You don't want us here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's like the negative guy. The same. You throw us out then. Do you own this house? No. You know what? The guy who owns this house told us to come in here and get you out. What do you think of that? Because you're nothing. And if you're holding children here, you're less than nothing. 
You want to go to hell? You believe in it? It's where you're going to go because we're going to stick you there. So you let these children go. Um, I just I don't heard that. You here. I just heard that. I don't want you here. There, there are two guys here. Yeah, I thought I heard something behind me. And he, the, there's one guy, and he's, he's saying, saying that that is not me holding the children. So he mm -hmm. wants to make that clarification. That there, the there are two men. Right. He owned the house, but there is a different man who that is with the children. Okay. He wants that distinction made. Is that man here in this room? Is that man it's here? A, that's the owner. Yeah. That's that's He's his. This is He's his room. Okay, that's the boss. Don't room. be in my room. room. Even there. children are not allowed in this room. Mike, look at this crazy drainness again. Why are you in? I here? noticed that my camera in the hallway is not even on. I yeah. I haven't seen it work. This is crazy. All my all my stuff is like drained. Look at that. That was cool. Mm. Pete, remember how I said that I felt that the guy in the robes is upstairs on the third floor? Um, yeah, like the priest figure? He's not allowed down here. Oh, really? He's not allowed on, he is not allowed here. Do you think he's the bad guy? The bad? He, he has, oh, he has woman issues, this guy, but the priest has the children thing going on and that's the he's he doesn't like that for his standards which is funny so he's definitely negative he's negative and this is his his place so what are you guys picking up angry is there anger i'm mad he's very i'm very angry Tammy's getting mad I'm feeling very angry right now, and I want you out of here. Guess only what? It ain't kids, the first time. Only the kids the kids have to stay downstairs. They're no, the kids downstairs. can come up here. They can do whatever they want to do. They're down there. You know what? And they're supposed to be in their rooms. We're with God. You're more powerful than that? My wife cheated on me. Ah, That's Evelyn? Bad. Evelyn cheated on you? Probably because you weren't any good. This is what I'm doing. And that's what one other medium told me, that he was pacing, and he caught her sneaking up the back stairs. My wife cheated on me. Yeah. Were you pacing around while she was outside in the, in the carriage house so cheating on you? In this house. She was outside I having a good time. Someone I knew cheated on me with a friend, and I'm angry. The guy who lived across the street. Here. He was the guy who lived across the street. I bet, I bet he was better than you. A nicer I don't guy. Want you here. You have to leave. I don't want you to. I don't want you here. And there's a boy. It's good to want oh, things. The boy is here. The boy is here. Cahill. He's not going anywhere. Cahill. He's not going anywhere. He stays there. Cahill. He tries to sneak downstairs, but I don't let him. So you hold the boy up here. He has to. Okay, can you make that flashlight go on? If you touch the back, you're saying yes. He's saying yeah. If you touch the back of it, or touch it, as hard as you can, it'll go on. It'll turn right on. Can you do that for us? Try as hard as oh, you can. Shit. There it goes. As soon as you asked for it. Yeah. That was like on command. Okay, can you turn it off now? Oh, that was great. That was right on command. Kale, that's great. That was awesome. Can you turn it back on again, Kale? It's doing it. There it goes. There it goes. Do it as hard as you can, bud. As hard as you can. Trying. There it goes. Kale, yes. you're great. That's pretty good. Kale, do you think you can make that flashlight move across the floor? Whoa. It went on. He's yeah. not supposed to tell the secrets. He's not supposed to tell. There aren't any secrets I anymore. To, I used to hit my wife because she cheated on me. And there's alcoholism in this house. Oh, yeah. I'm very angry. I just feel very angry. I need to calm down because I feel like he's taking over me. If you want to go outside, 
You know no, what? I don't want to go outside. One of us will walk out. I want to go down here. Let's go down. I want to go down to the boys' room. Let's go down. Yeah. I'm going to go outside. What's that? Nicole needs to leave. They're going that way. Yeah. You all right? I just want to go outside a little bit. Just Let's, to get a fresh air. Just him. Nicole, down here. Okay. Nicole wants to go outside. Oh, she well, does. If, if he wants... Go ahead, if Sammy does. We have a flashlight if you want to go too, or one of us will walk you out. You want me to walk you out? Are you okay? Can, can I just be feeling my emotions? She, she wants to, yeah, Sammy wants to talk. I just, I need, I need to hold. Why don't you, you, you try to take over me? <laughs> I need to go. Go outside. Let's go over here. No, 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 no. The stairs are over there, Tan. Be careful. Pete, take her out. I'm going to stay up here. You guys going to stay with me? Or you want to go too? You guys want to stay here? Yeah, you're definitely feeling the same thing. Wait, 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 wait. Take my flashlight. Okay. Wait, hold on. There you go. Okay, yeah, it's good. Okay. How about you guys? <laughs> Are we the one, only ones up here? Because mm -hmm. I'm not going. I'm not letting this asshole force us out. He's the one who's going. And believe me when I say, you're going. What are you feeling? He's staring at Where is he, upstairs? Yeah. It's where the raccoons go. You staring at us? How come you're not here in my face, big tough guy? You know what? Whatever happened to uh, the shadow of darkness and, and, and taking people on there, you know, finding lost children. You don't keep them, you find them and you help them. You're not with God. Thumbs up there. I don't remember <laughs> everything I said because when you channel, you don't remember everything I got on tape. unless it's written down. But I just, uh, I just feel really, really. He's in control. His wife cheated, and, and he was abusive or very strict to the children. And <laughs> we were in his space. He's very neat and tidy, and he wanted things just so. And if you didn't do what he said, that was it. He's got to hire a housekeeper then and send her in there to dust because <laughs> it ain't neat and tidy in there. Because when Tammy Those came two out, words. her fists are clutched. Well, like, when we, when we say here. neat and She's tidy, mad. it's our vision of back the times that they were living. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. And he was like a control freak, probably. Yeah. Right. So it sounds like yeah, he was a controlling definitely. guy. Did I don't know that what anybody gonna... else picked up, but that's what I thought. You look down the hall and says, that boy's got to stay in his room. I was like, well, where yeah. did that come from? Yeah. And you were, like, angry. And you were, like, when you were walking around, you were getting more angry. You are walking in circles. Yeah. And Nicole says, you got to get out. I just feel really overwhelmed. And she um, flew down the stairs. I'm like, holy crap. Mm. Yeah, Nikki, you got to tell us if you know that's happening again. Well, I, I Tammy sure. couldn't tell yeah. us. Yeah. Well, it's hard. She I didn't wasn't know sure. She, doesn't, she hasn't worked with me enough. To know, um, she I, knew something wasn't right. I've, I, I know I've channeled before, but I've never had that overwhelming experience. You know, you're you're gonna run into um, angry energy. They don't want to be. The thing of it is, is this guy was a good person at one time. He was a really good person, and he doesn't like to be this way. But life made him the way he is, as far as I can feel. He's never seen Doctor Phil. Right. You gotta change Dr. those Mike. things. <laughs> doctor, yeah, I'll be Doctor Mike. But when you start provoking her, her. I don't know what you change. guys felt, but that's the way I feel. You can put your insight in on it if you want to. But that boy had to stay in his room, as far as I know. Yeah, because mm. you looked over. He goes, "You gotta stay. That boy's gotta stay in his room." I was like, mm -hmm. "What's going on?" I know. It's like she picked up his personality or something. I know. I'm like, something's not right here. Right now, the place is rocking. Yeah, I can feel it. My hair, my hair. Mike, when I came downstairs, all my motion lights were on. Wow. We weren't even down there. Wow. I came out this way. Yeah. I looked, and my my camera's going, hopefully. Yeah. All the motion lights were on, every single one. Right. 
Nice. That one boy was begging Nicole to help him. Yeah. So, I mean, I just feel like we have to do that. You have to cross the board. Yeah. I say we go back in and you guys do your thing downstairs. Let's do the seance. And then we're going to go, you and I are going to go upstairs. Yeah. Anybody wants to come with us can. I but I my think batteries. that. My batteries are dead. <laughs> okay. Do you need them? I, I got batteries. I just got to right. change them. I got a ton of lithium batteries. Every single battery I have. Here's our class. Do you want to take, okay. do you want Nicole and I to try to cross them? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Even the even the nasty bastard, maybe that'll help him. Huh? He's yeah. Not he's gonna be awfully lonely, right? I think if we provoke, go upstairs, oh, we might take his attention. Yeah. I feel like he's gonna be the bad spirit's gonna be the only one that stays, honestly. Mm -hmm. And he's the preacher, right? He's the. That's what they said too. He's the. He's the uh, She's the, seen a robe. She's seen a guy. Yeah. Can robe, you believe right? it? A robe. He's yeah, a preacher, and that's why I say he tried to be good. Well, is that what you got? That a hypocritical front. Me, they no, have I, have a, I have two different guys here. Yeah, I had two guys, but one guy I feel like worked or did something with the female, and the other one was married to her. Okay. She cheated on. I have two different. I think they're two different. I think they're from two different. Yeah, she cheated on the guy. It might be two arrows two, then. Two different okay. time frames. Evelyn cheated on the guy who lived across the street, wherever that was, maybe over that's there. Who knows? You know? So, I mean, that's... She used to rendezvous with him in the in the, the carriage house in the back. So, I mean, we got that, the what was it, the first time that we were here. <laughs> and what did you guys get? A different arrow? What did you guys get? Actually, we could go back there and check that carriage house. Oh. You guys want to check it out. I don't know how how well, much in disarray it is. It's, it's pretty bad. Didn't yeah. we get a dark skinned person the first time? Yes, we did. The guy who fell in the well. We got a southern voice and he goes, Help me. Help me. Help me. In a southern My motion voice. light's on. It's going off in there, Mike. But nobody's even in the house. Nope, wow. Right and, and that's and that's face over there. There's, there's nothing it's there. It's facing away from us. All right. Let's go in. That's insane. We're back. <laughs> Did you miss us? Yeah, that door is nasty. Be careful of that door. I got it facing toward that dial. Both of them. Both of them, both are, them on. are on. Both of the motion lights are on. Mm -hmm. Or less. I'll have to check the settings, but I'm pretty sure I have them. You guys coming in? Tammy. Tammy's. All right. Let me check these things out. Too. Protect your body. Let's see what the heck we're doing. Okay. Yeah, both those motion lights went on. Now I'm getting the headache as I walk right through here on the right hand side. Sinus headache. Boom. Are you guys okay with the ghost box going on? Or? Yeah. So you got to walk in front of that light for that light to go on. Both of them were facing this way. We were outside and they were both on. Yeah. So you know what? He was checking our equipment out. He was here looking at our stuff, checking things out. And we have all these cameras here. Everything you see here is recording. You know. Which room do you guys want to start in? Though? Okay, Block C. They wanted to go into the big room. The big room, like the big, big open? The children across. They want to, because the energy's good there. The children are going to leave first. So it's by the kitchen or out in the. It's like, just the big room. The community. Yeah. Okay. Because I'll say the boss. See, it didn't go off till I got right here. Right? Yep. There's no way that was us. I got a camera on that down there, so let's see what happens. All right. We're going back up for round two. Is your, is your camera working? Right there. Out? Yeah, it's working. Most definitely. There it goes, yeah. Less than one second trigger top. The guy is up there. He keeps peeking down. Yeah, she said the guy with the robe is up there. Do you want to go up there and confront him? He won't come down, she said. You won't come down? What are you? What's wrong with you? Are you afraid? Do you fear us? We're going to send these kids to the white light. 
What do you think of that, Mr. Preacher? Dude, my freaking light's going out now. All my batteries are dying tonight. It's crazy. How's this floor? Uh, we're up here. We're up here. that you know it's funny one of the mediums said he was over here crouched down hiding from us rat turds got energy right here crouching down hiding you don't sound too big in bed you like to abuse children yeah don't like you said huh let me take my Are you a preacher? You're afraid to talk to us? Prove that you're here. Walk by my meter over there. What kind of man of God are you? What kind of man of God would be afraid even to approach us? Because we walk with God. We're not afraid of you. We're not afraid of anybody. And we're here to help these children. You can't keep them here. We can help them move on. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherd the weak through the valley of darkness. For he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my you will know I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon you. Do you remember that one? And you shepherd those children through the valley of darkness because that's your job. Not keeping them here, not keeping them here in this house. That's not your job. It's time for them to move on. And it's time for you to move on. And you know what I'm saying is right. Boy, his energy's going all over the place. Because he's trying to run and get away. You can't get away from righteousness. You can't get away from the truth. Wow. It's going all around me, Mike. It's like he's trying to hide. Go ahead. Try to hide. Run around. Try to hide. There's nowhere to go. Look at this little room. This is what you've chosen for yourself. You need to go to the white light. And you need to let those children go to the white light. They're going crazy. They're going all over. Be careful, man. Yeah. He's like hiding. Are you hiding behind that rug? Maybe he's in the rug. It's going all over the place. It's like he's saw. Uh... He is. He's confused. He doesn't know what to do. Because I'm putting some... it right in his face. Maybe we should get some holy water out. Would you like that? Want to throw some holy water around? Oh. Saying no. Definitely. Take it out, man. Let's do it. Let's anoint this place. We're going to put holy water in your place. We're going to send you out of here. You're not going to be able to stay here anymore. I'll take the top off. There, that's holy Look, water. Look, here's some holy water. Water. Look at this. We're going to drop it right here. Look. Whoa. Look at that. Holy water. Put holy water all around. You gonna hide from us? You gonna hide from God? You can never hide from God. It ain't gonna happen. Holy water all around. This was blessed. Holy water. This is blessed by somebody who is God fearing. Somebody who does believe. Someone who believes in God. Throw it all around. What do you think of that, Mr. Preacher? Mr. Pseudo Preacher, you're not a preacher. You say you are, but you're not. You're a liar, and you know it. The blood is on your hands. On your hands. Throw it all around. Yeah, man. Get the captain.
Okay, I got it. <laughs> We're gonna have to reload. That's real lost holy water, so real holy water. He's gonna have an issue with that. This guy's no priest. He thinks he is. He says he is. How many people are out there that say they're priests and they're not, or reverends and they're not? They're just people who, who are hiding. They're afraid. Priest. And they're hiding from the brilliance of God. They're afraid. You're afraid of God? Then why don't you go meet your maker? It's time. We saying yes, maybe he'll cross. It's time for you to go. And you know that I'm right. You are not happy here. You don't belong here. And the children here are not your flock. They don't belong to you. They belong to God, just like you do. It's time for you to go. You don't belong to God, then you could go to hell. You want to go meet the devil? You think the devil's waiting for you? You do believe in the devil? Do you believe in God? I think he's hiding stuff. Where is he? He's over here. Are you hiding? I know where you are. He's hiding behind this carpet again, Mike. He's behind the carpet. <laughs> Trying the floodlights. I think it's time to go. It's time for you to go. Well, he's covered, he's not gonna go. You left your body behind. You're a spirit. You died. Do you know that you're dead? No, you are. You're dead, and it's time for you to go. If you're a preacher and you believe in God, and you preach to everybody else, you preach to people, then you know what I'm talking about is right. He's saying yes, he was. And if you're not a hypocrite, it's time for you to go. Unless you're afraid. Are you afraid? I think he's afraid of what he did. You're afraid of what you did? You hurt that little girl? And you hurt those children? Did you molest her? You sexually molest her? He's saying yes. Then it's time for you to pay for your sins. Standing around here is just putting things off. It's time for you to go and take your medicine. Time for you to go. The doorway is open. The white light is there. Please go. Let's head back down and see how the girls are doing, right? Yep. Watch out for these rat turds. Yeah, it's crazy up here. If you're ready to go, go to the light. Your family is there. God is there. Your moms, dads, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, grandparents, they're in the light already. Go to the light. You're free to leave. Don't let any other spirit bind you here. Go to the light. You're welcome to go to the light. Don't feel like you have to stay here any longer. Go to your happiness. Go to that beautiful, bright light. The golden, the beautiful light. God is there. Your parents are there. Your friends and family are waiting for you. I feel like they're over there and they're in a line, you know. Mm -hmm. Yep, I agree. They're hesitant. I can't hold you here any longer.
love free. Free will. Would you like to leave? Yes, go to the light. You're free to leave. You don't have to be bound here. You don't have to stay here. Go to the hide. light. You don't have to hide anymore. Come out of your hiding places. It's okay. We are safe. It's safe to come near us. Go to the light. You don't have to hide any longer. Come out of your hiding Hello. spaces. She feels maybe six, six eight, and then two more. <coughs> it feels different. It does, but there's still more here. I think that it does feel a lot. Yeah, different. they're not all going to leave. Mm -hmm. I don't. I feel like there's only a few. What? Are they okay? Yeah, I think a mm -hmm. lot has gone. Yeah, I think so. even more than eight. Oh yeah. I feel, like, I feel like there was a dog that left. Down the stairs, and then a couple were coming down the stairs. Oh, went off again. Mike, keep went off again. Wow. We're not over there. There's, There's nobody there. over there, and that security light keeps going off. That's exactly where we got a picture of a full body apparition of a young girl that we believe. Look, it just went off again. It just went off. Let's see if it goes back on again. Right. There's some, I feel like they're just sitting back. They're holding back and watching us. Your camera had to have been here when it, it took the picture of that girl. It in was. That. It's about where the same area I got it right now. It, it's where I got it. Okay. And I'm shooting down that hallway. Because it was a reflection, and oh. she had to have been standing over on the other side of that wall. Right. She was coming through that doorway, and it reflected off that glass. Yep. But you could see her so what. Yep. See, she was right down coming through that hallway. And that's right where my motion light's going off. So hopefully, maybe. You know what? My camera's in there now. The uh, yeah. The hunting cam. And I got mine going up the stairs. It's right there in the corner, facing this way. Oh, cool. It's it's. I can't see it, but it's in the corner. So hopefully, you got some pictures. Oh man, if something's there. Yeah. Hopefully, it went off. Because something's setting that off, and that's in another room. We're not even out there. I swear I just saw a movement in that glass. Yeah. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Well, Tammy did say the glass holds a lot of energy. And it's so old, there's probably a lot of energy in that. Mm. It's from the 1800s, so. Can you show us something? Can you tell us something? We're about to leave. We're going to pack up soon and go. Maybe Mr. Preacher upstairs is happy about that. But he's got to live with his own misery. And even though he's not alive... He's got to stay there with his own misery. And that's, that's a hell worse than anything you can think of. 
If there's a teenage girl, it's time for you to cross over. It's time for you to go to your family. Go to the people that love you. They're there. Even if you don't think they're there, believe me, they're there. Most people have a reason why they do things. Sometimes it is something that they are drawn to. Sometimes it is something that brings them up to a new level. As for Peter and I, we are paranormal investigators because it is a calling. It is not a search for evidence, but a search for what's next. When we are young, we are told that when you die, the good people go to heaven. But it would seem that this is not the case. Some do and some don't. Some stay behind for many reasons, and some are held against their will. We are thankful to the mediums that join us in our investigations. God gives us all abilities, and it is important to use them. If you're not, you're just cheating yourself. As far as Peter and I are concerned, as long as there are spirits in need, we will always answer the call. Okay. Yeah. 